Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to add pull quotes onto your posts and pages. We have five styles we're going to share with you and all this is going to be achieved using some CSS code. Now, if you want to follow step by step, all the code that we've used in this tutorial can be found in the link provided in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you step by step how we managed to achieve these five styles. Okay, so to get started, we need to log into our WordPress dashboard. So I'm logged in already. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to add my CSS code. So I'm gonna come over here to Divi, and then I'm gonna click on theme options. Now scroll all the way down here until you get to custom CSS. I'm just gonna drag this down here so we can see all the code. So you can see my CSS code starts here where it says pull quotes CSS. So we need to, we need to paste all this code and then click save changes. Now, if you want this code, it can be found on the article that I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so now that you've added this, go ahead and click on Save Changes. Okay, so the next thing you need to do now is to create a new post. So I'm going to come over here and click on Post. Let's call this post Test Post. Okay, so I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to come over here to the row settings and we're going to adjust this and make sure that we use the custom width and we're gonna make this 600 pixels. Click on save and exit. Now the next thing we're gonna do here is to add some columns. So I'm gonna add a single column and also a text module. Okay, so in the text module here, we're going to paste some dummy text like that. So for now, I'm just going to click on save and exit. And then over here, I would like to see my full page. So I'm going to get rid of this right sidebar. So let's publish this page and just take a quick look at what we have so far. So I'm going to click on view post. Okay, so this is the text that we have. Now it's time to add all our styling to the pull quotes. So I'm going to go back. Let's go into the settings of the text module. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to just highlight this text because this is the text that I need to add the pull quote to. So I'm just going to click on this. And then I'm going to click on save and exit. Click update. So now let's do a quick preview. So I'm going to open this in a new tab so that we can save time going back and forth. So now you can see that we have our, our pull quote here with this line. Now the next CSS code I'm going to add is just going to add some styling to this pull quote. Okay, so I'm going to paste my code in here. So as you can see in the code here, we have ET pull quote left. So you can adjust that to left or right, depending on what, uh, which way you want to float it. So for now, we're just going to do a quick preview. And then we can see here it's on the left. Okay, so I'm going to close this and then if you want to make it float right, you can just type in right in that. Now let's do a quick preview and now we can see it's over to the right. So we can see here that uh, the color of this line can also be adjusted uh, to match your branding. And let me show you quickly where to adjust that. So for now, I'm just going to click on save and exit and then update this page. To customize that color, you need to come over here to DV and then go to Theme Customizer. You want to click on General Settings and then Layout Settings. So over here, the area that you need to change is right here where it says Theme Accent Color. So I'm just going to go in there and just change that to green. And then I'm going to save and publish. So now if we refresh, we can see now that our line is turned to green. So that's how you do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add more styles to this. So the next one we're going to do is the pull quotes with a large open quotation. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it in here like that. So what you can also do is within these brackets, you can always enter your text that you want in order for this effect to take place. So I'm going to do a quick preview and we can see here that we have these large quotations. Okay, so that's looking cool. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to add a top bar. So again, I'm going to replace this. Just paste my text and let's do a quick preview. And now we can see that our, our pull quote has a top bar right here on the top. 
Okay, moving on to the next one. This time we're gonna add a dark background. So let's close this and let's add our code. Let's do a quick preview. So we can see here we have a dark background and you can always go in and customize this in several ways. Okay, so in the final fifth one, what we need to try and achieve here is to get this pull quote to go across full width. So to do that, let's just close this for now. So let's come over here to DV theme options, scroll all the way down to here to custom CSS. And in CSS, there's a line of code that we need to look for. So over here, what we need to do is to replace this. You can see here we have a max width of 300 pixels. So that means our pull code only is applied to 300 pixels. So in order for us to make it go full width, we just need to replace this code like that. So we've got rid of the 300 pixels. So this now should stretch across our post. So I'm gonna click on save changes and then we're gonna do a refresh. Okay, so you can see here it's going across full width, but what we can also do is go back to the other styles that we tried and then those styles again will be applied across full width. So if we come back over here and change the style, so I'm just gonna paste this for now. And if we take a look, you'll see that all the styles now that we're going to add here are going to take the full width. So I'll just update this now. And now if we refresh this, we can see now that we have the large uh, quotes, but this is going across full width in the test post. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.